Hey guys, Caleb back with another video, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the interior of this house that we built in yesterday's video. Upstairs in the master bedroom, we are going to come to this wall over here, opposite from the closet, and in the middle of the wall we are going to place two white beds like that. We are then going to use white banners like that. Next, as our nightstands, we are going to place three barrels like this with iron trap doors on top. And then as a dresser, we are going to have three barrels across and two barrels up like this. And each of these is going to have a an iron trap door on top. Like that. Over here under the window, we are going to have a chest. And in this corner, we are going to have purple stairs to, rep to symbolize a purple little couch, I guess. Here in the closet, we are going to have two barrels like this and a barrel right here. And then in the roof, we are going to have end rods like this, and we are also going to have an, two end rods like this. The end rods look like the things you can hang clothes on. And we are actually going to replace this corner end rod with a block right here and make them look symmetrical. Finally, for our carpets, we are going to come over here near the doorway, and we are just going to make a 2x2 two two carpet like that, coming in to this room in here. And we are going to have our carpets coming around the room like this, leaving a border like so. The next interior that we are going to do is this room, which I was originally going to make the office or the storage room. But now I'm going to make it the office because it's a bit thicker than the storage room down below that we're going to have. And for clarification, this is the new office. And down here on the first floor, this is the new storage room. All right, to start off in this back corner over here, we're gonna make a table. So we're gonna have one upside down stair like that with a slab, and then another upside down stair like that facing into it. And then we are going to place filler blocks right here just so we can get a one by one painting. Um, and that that's a good computer screen, I guess. And then we're gonna place a stone pressure plate here and it looks like a computer on a table. Next, we of course need a comfy black office chair, and so we're going to just place a polished black stone right there. And finally, over on this wall, we're gonna place three barrels like this, and we're also going to place three barrels like this on this wall, and two under here, and on all of these, we're going to place signs, like so, and these are filing cabinets, like this. And if you can afford it in your world, I would replace these with white shulker boxes, and they look more like filing cabinets. Now that our office is done, we are going to head over to this room over here, which is the bathroom, and we are going to design it. Alright, so over here, we are going to start off with an upside down stair and a birch trap door on top of it, and that's going to be our toilet. Next, if you can afford it, put an oak fence here and an upside, or a backwards wither skeleton skull right there, and it looks like toilet paper. Excuse me, not wither skeleton, just a normal skeleton skull. Then over here for our counter, we are going to place two smooth quartz slabs, a cauldron with a tripwire hook above it, two more slabs like this, another cauldron with a tripwire hook, and then one slab right here, and we're gonna fill the cauldrons with water. And no bathroom is complete without its signature checkered blue and white carpet floor like so so we're just going to do that as the carpet here in the bathroom like so and if you're thinking that these hallways are looking a little plain you can place some paintings in here you can do that on your own uh i'm not going to for this tutorial over here in this storage room that we have uh, we're just going to place a bunch of barrels right here in this corner maybe some chests over here chests all around and barrels more barrels um like so but not covering up the glass um just to make it look like a cluttered storage room kind of like some people have in their houses like so and now it's really cluttered in here with storage devices and you can even place an ender chest in here if you want so that's what i'm gonna do like right here or right here maybe over here if that's the front door and then there's our staircase this room right here we're gonna place our door and this is going to be our first bedroom besides the master bedroom 
And I think uh, twins should live in this bedroom, so I'm going to place two oak wood planks like that, and a lime bed like that. And then under it, another lime bed, and it makes kind of like a bunk bed, and we can add a ladder like so. Just leading up to here so that the second twin can get on their bed. I'm thinking that this is the more artsy room, kind of, of the two bedrooms. Um, so we're just going to have a bookshelf, um, kind of like here, a 3x3 three three bookshelf with trap doors, like so. Oops, that one is supposed to go like that. And then on this side, also have trap doors, like that. Um, and then if you want to, you can put some on the top, like this. Um, and then we are also going to make ourselves a little uh, art stand with like an easel. So we are going to have two, um, two of these oak fences, and then we're going to add a white banner here. And if you want that to be it, that's cool, but I'm going to put a staircase so that right here so that it looks like um, it's just like a one block tall easel or painting that they're doing. And then over on this wall, this is going to be where their dressers are. So we're going to have a dresser like here and a dresser right here. And on top of both of the dressers, just two double chests like that. And as always, these rooms are kind of looking bare. So we're just going to add a carpet like we normally do in these rooms. That it just goes around all of the room except for the border like that. And then we're just going to fill it in. Like that. For this third bedroom right here, we're going to use a, a different color palette than the rest of them. This, in this case, is going to be purple. I think this is going to be like a girly room. Um, so we're going to have a, one bed in the middle like that. I don't really know what girl rooms look like, so I'm just going to add two bookshelves like that. And then two barrels like that for a dresser. And then two chests like that. And then I want a 2 by 2 painting. Um, so, or two by one painting, so like that one or that one. I was thinking that one because it's like the girl is admiring this dude right here. And then, um, you can choose between a pink or purple carpet, um, or you can do something entirely different th with this room. These are just ideas that I'm giving you guys. Um, and as always, we're just going to go around the border, like so. And if that's bugging you under the bed, you can just replace it with like actual carpet like this and then place the bed back and it looks the same. And other than this room right here, which we're going to do right now, our house is completely done. For our dining table over here, we are going to come to this block right here, which is two diagonal from here. And we're going to skip two blocks and place one right there. And then on top of both of all of these, we're going to have trap doors, wooden trap doors. And then also wooden trap doors coming out on all sides like this. And this is our dining room table. And then also over here like that and here like that. Fitting with the rest of the theme of this house, we are going to use dark oak chairs kind of like this. Um, spread those two out like that, and then this like this, and then boom like that. And if you want to, you can even make this side a bench. Hold on, I gotta um, do it like that, and then like that. Uh, this one's too far, hold on. Like that. Um, and then you can connect these two, and it's a little bench instead of a chair. Next, we're gonna make our little living room area over here. So we're gonna get three like this um, to make a little couch like that. And then we can have a chair right here and maybe another little couch over here like that. And then this is our little socializing area. And then if we grab ourselves some, where's the slabs right here? Some dark oak wood slabs. We're gonna have a little coffee table in the middle like that. Next, there's no house here unless it has a TV, obviously. So we're going to have a little couch right here. I was thinking a four wide couch 
where they can watch the TV that's going to be right here. So we're going to line it up with the couch. So right here, we're going to place an upside down stair, skip to, and then an upside down stair here with dark oak wood slabs. And then we are just going to have that karate painting on. And that's it, guys. That's the tutorial for how to build uh, this spooky old house. Um, I hope you liked it. This was the interior done. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.